Well, Steph, we all know results have been tough, disappointing form, which continued at Rotherham last Saturday. What's the mood been like since then? Uh, disappointing, obviously, because um, uh, there's no excuses, you know. It's football is a results business and it's been going on for a long period of time. And I think, um, you know, we are obviously disappoint disappointed because we were in a very good position and now we've we put ourselves in a in a bit of a mess, so um, you know we know it. Uh, and obviously, when you see the QPR fans travel in the numbers they are as well, it's 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 a horrific feeling to to lose games, and you know, and you um, you kind of feel sorry for for them as well. You know, they use loads of time to travel up and support us, and then we can't produce results for them. So it's um, it's not a great feeling, you know, to be honest, but. We, uh, we at the end of the day, we can't dig ourselves down. You know, we we got to find a result uh, soon, and and um, hopefully we can do that on Saturday. How are you personally finding things at the moment? Tough. Uh, you know, there's in tough times. It's always easy to to uh, find excuses about certain certain things and stuff. But I think at the end of the day, we we have good enough players to go out and, and beat every team in, in the division and we've showed that earlier in the season but at the moment it's not happening for us so it's um, it's, it's a tough time but uh, as I said I've been through this uh, a few times earlier in my career and and uh, I've managed to come out on a positive way uh, with the team previously so that's what I'm aiming to do here as well. What in those previous times was done to get you out of those battles? It's, you know, as, as silly it may sound, it's, you know, you, you keep, you need to keep believing, you need to keep stay positive, you need to, even though it's hard, because uh, you're building yourself up to every single game and then you feel like you're getting knocked down with the results um, in, in the weekend, so it's it's tough, but that I honestly think that's that's the only way to go and I think the manager has come in now and the energy he has brought in, um, and uh, the togetherness we have now, I think it's definitely the way to go. And, um, you know, maths are boring again, but, you know, just hopefully that the fans can stick with us until the end of the season. And I think uh, the manager now is building something right. And I uh, am I'm, I'm a firm believer of that. He certainly is a positive person. His remit appears to be as much about improving morale as it does improving on key areas of the pitch. I think that's important now, to be honest, because we are, uh, we know we're a good football team and we've, we've shown that previously. Uh, and it could be that easy, that uh, togetherness, uh, but it doesn't feel like it um, because I think it's a great group. And it's, uh, but as I said, you know, I don't want to sit here and find excuses about injuries, et cetera, et cetera, but obviously that plays a part. Um, but at the end of the day, we have a good enough team to, to win games and, and we currently doesn't do that. So we've got to turn that uh, quickly around. But as I said, the manager has come in and I think we, we're on the right way. The manager's brought Richard Dobson with him from Wickham. What, what have you been working at on the training pitch? A bit of different things. You know, when a manager comes in, it's, he wants his style of play into things. And uh, this manager is a high energy guy, he, he would like in person and, and on the pitch as well. He wants players to go and press teams. He wants us to um, yeah, create chances, get the ball in the box. We have strikers that, that you know, live of it and have made a career of that. So uh, get the ball in the dangerous areas and also be able to, to defend our own box. So that's mainly what's been working on. And um, he's, he's, he's come in and I think he's been brilliant both him and Dobbo and, and Josh, uh, the an analysis guy um, who has come in and, and been a real, yeah, fresh air for us, I think. So, yeah. What have they said to you about your role? Uh, a little bit. It's, it's similar, to be honest, but we, we want to press more. And I, I really like the way that we want to press because I think um, it's very hard to play against if you manage to get it right. And as I said, and I've said this with all the managers I've had, you've you got to give them time. It's hard for a manager to come in and change one thing with two training sessions, which he had before the, the first game. So um, 
it's you got to give it time and I, th I think it's the right way I think we have the team to do that so um, yeah hopefully we can at the end of the day we need results and that's what we we need to get there are undoubted shortcomings at Rotherham but there are also signs that we we're able to create more chances how much of a positive is that yeah it is positive I think you know it been in this league for years now I think it's it's so obvious goals change this game in this league. You know, if you can get the first goal, it's a could be a complete different game. Um, rather than if I take my chance there, you know, I and get to one one, I think it's only one winner in that game. Uh, we have a few other chances in in, uh, in and around it, but that's that's football sometimes, um, and it's frustrating as it is. You know, you can't. You know, it's a new game and now it's a massive week for us. It's three games before international break and uh, we we got to find the results again. It's simple as. Watford kick things off in, in that respect, a side that are chasing promotion, but also a side that have, have changed manager. Yeah, we know, uh, we know Watford quite well. You know, we did well away this season against them. Uh, obviously, a, a, a big team and a big club, you know. Uh, they were recently, as you said, they changed the manager there. But, you know, again, we, we're at home and, you know, we've seen in the group chat this this morning, like the uh, Loftus show is almost sold out again, even though like we're on the run, we are. It's, it's some sort of fans up, you know, it's just just incredible the support we're getting. So um, it's time for us to to pay them back with with three points. You know, it's it's been too long since that. We've had a good recent record against Watford. You spoke about the the win there earlier in the season. What can we learn from from those results we've had? I think you know, at the moment, I, I honestly think it's a big uh, confidence thing. You know, I think we need to understand with, that we are a good team, that we are, and I think that's what the manager tried to to get into us as well. You know, it's again, I, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but. When you build up yourself to games and you get knocked down every single week, it knocks your confidence as well. And um, we have quite a young group, um, which maybe hasn't been in a situation like this before. So it's, you know, I think for the older boys that's kind of been there and are in and around it, we need to try, try, um, yeah, change them, that, that, them, them small things though. So, yeah, it's, um, we need to take, obviously, they, they're going to come here and, under a new manager, you never really know what you're getting. So, um, but we've been working with our manager now for for a couple of weeks, and um, we need to to continue building. You spoke about Loftus Road being at near capacity for the weekend. Although things are tough at the moment, are you, are you looking forward to Saturday? Yeah, it's it's incredible. It's uh, it's just as I said, shows our fan base shows the way they support the team. I think it's. It's brilliant. It's easily done. Like when you lose a few games in a season and and things are going tough, that the few you know the supporter goes away and doesn't come to the games. Um, but it just shows again. It's it's, it's fantastic, and the, that's I want to know. Let, let the fans know that's something the players really appreciate because it means a, a good lot for us to to know that.